I'm in group policy looking at AppLocker. I've got two rules set up. The first one allows any application in the Windows operating system that have been signed by Microsoft to be used. And the second allows IE8 or later to run. You'll almost certainly need to allow users to run more applications than this for them to be able to do their jobs. As things stand at the moment, users can't run any of the Microsoft Office applications. If I try and fire up this PowerPoint deck on Windows 7 Security, I get this message saying that the program is blocked by group policy. So let's see how easy it is to build a new rule to permit Office to run for any of my users. I could build a hash rule or a path rule. But both of these have inherent problems. A path rule means that a user could replace what's in the path with any old application, while a hash rule will have to be changed every time there is a new version of the application. A better way is to build a publisher rule. This is the new killer feature in AppLocker and relies on the digital signature of the application. Here you can see details of the publisher, in this case Microsoft, that show up for Word in Office 2007. If I hold on the product name of Office, then I can create a new rule for all of that product. And having applied that, I can now open that slide deck. So that's why AppLocker is so important. It builds on the power of group policy, and obviously you can apply that from any version of Windows Server 2008. And then it is automatically picked up in Windows 7, allowing you total control of the user's desktops.